All right, today we got a set of Gen 5 L83 heads. Uh, we doing a DOD delete kit for it, and so they brought us the heads and just one of them surfaced and the valve job touched up, seals, all that. I don't, I don't, I can't remember exactly, but I don't think it's got like 80,000 miles on it, 86,000 miles. So the heads are in like really good condition, but uh, hang loose and we'll get into what all we're doing. So Andrew has done touched up the seats and this head and got it mounted in the surfacer and indicated in, but uh, I told him to just, he can film, uh, he's gonna touch the seats up and the, the seats are in really good condition. The, the 45s look great. He's just gonna uh, grind all the 45s, just touch them up. They don't, they don't take nothing and we're gonna grind the valves. I thought, are the valves in the tumbler? So the valves are in the tumbler. So as soon as he gets them out, then he can grind all the valves and you'll see that. And then we're gonna surface them. And uh, I mean, it's just a 100% stock refresh. So it's gonna get to factory springs and all of that. But I hear about, while we're talking about it, I hear all the time about uh, seats chipping in these Gen 5 heads. And, and I just hadn't seen it, even even on performance stuff. We, we done a uh, couple of Corvette engines that been beat on. And uh, I, I just, I'm just not seeing it. So I don't know what that's about, but you know, they, they say it's a problem, but you know, maybe it's just not enough big cams and not enough spring pressure and it's bouncing and beating the seats up but uh but anyway andrew's gonna take over and he's gonna uh, turn you around there where you can see and, and he's gonna touch up those seats and then we'll get this head going in the surfacer and uh you can see that and then he'll grind some valves You can see, I mean, it's really flat, but you can see how the factory finish is. And where the little high spots are and where they're not. But like this whole corner here is kind of laid down just a little bit. But I mean, I'm sure it ain't a thousandth or something. But. But, so that, I mean, that's flat, but it, it wouldn't have finished past. But just for giggles, 
Where's the profilometer? Let me, I'm gonna check it. Let's just see what the profilometer says on that fast pass there. Just out of curiosity. I mean, it's probably well within spec, but I'm just curious. So, I mean, that's a, that's a roughing pass. And I mean, that's 32, even, I mean, I think Comedic says on their head gaskets anything under 40. So actually we could let that go all day. But I'm not, we're gonna, we're gonna do a finish pass just cause we can. All right, so we're gonna pop, you know, everything's done. We're gonna, we're gonna pop these things together. But one thing that I run into, uh, I mean, luckily I, I, I got, got them in bulk, but um, we bought a, come over here. We bought a headset, the customer wanted a full headset. And let me grab one. So this is, this is a fail pro headset. There is no, there is no, usually they got a part number on the bag. There is no part number. Um, it's got it's got this number here, but both bags have the same number. And then obviously we got exhaust and intake seals. But if you notice, this is what it should look like. And this is what it is. So if you take a, let me grab a spring. If you take a spring and with this, with this seal, it doesn't locate, it's the, it's the wrong size seal. And then this one, obviously, you know, it, it, it's bumped out so it'll locate the bottom of the spring. So, you know, again, you buy a $300 headset and, and we can't even put the right seals in the bag. So I don't know. And, it, and it's, as far as I know, it's the exact same seals as a LS. So. I mean, they make millions of them every day. How they, how they mess that up, I don't know the answer to. But luckily I had, you know, I have these in bulk, so we'll just put my seals on. Like I say, other than that mess of carbon, man, these direct injection engines, they are horrific about carbon in the ports and on the back of the valves. It's, uh, I mean, they was one valve. We tumbled all the valves, you know, and I mean, they come out like brand new. They was one of them that had so much carbon on the back of it and it done got so hard that literally, I mean, I had to take a wire brush and 
put it in a drill and spin the valve and use a wire brush to get all the carbon off. It was so bad. I don't understand it, but I know direct injection is supposed to be the better deal, but boy, it don't look like it. All right, um, I'm not going, I'm going to spare you putting the next one together. Um, I mean, you've seen me put heads together before, but, you know, again, it's just a, a basic little job. Uh, Andrew did 90% of it, and uh, like I say, I mean, they, they turn out nice, but um, what was I going to say? I don't know. So... Uh, we'll be back on the LS9 tomorrow. We got the parts in for it. So the rod bearings come in. I think the squirters are supposed to be here tomorrow. So we should be able to get on that and get it knocked out. But I figured uh, we, ain't done, we ain't done any of these on camera. And we'll do some, uh, at some point, we'll do some, some hot rod ones and set up some big springs and stuff. But uh, anyway, hope that was interesting. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.